Did you have you done peyote before? Yeah. With this guy? Yeah. And how was it? Amazing. I can see everything. Clear. Yeah, I can see everything. I understood that we are our focal point is very that's why we only see what what we see, but if we can move our focal point and expand it, we see a lot more. So much more. There's so much more that we don't see. And when you can move your your focal point, the punto de encaje, the punto de enfoque, lo puedes mover. It's like when you're dreaming. When you're dreaming, your focal point moves, and that's why there's like multiple uh, realities that you can experience within a dream. But when you wake up, that focal point comes back. And some people are able to move that focal point however they want, and that's why yeah. they can go to different realities and do like astral projection and stuff like that. Yeah. But as long as you can control it, you're just stuck in this reality that is given to you. So did you know uh, what you're gonna do with this, well, I would call him shaman, if you do a lot of this stuff. Um, did they tell you what you're gonna do on the meeting with him, or it was just like, come and meet this guy? Well, and uh, it's no, they don't have a plan. They're not like, okay, Sunday we're gonna wake up and go hiking. No, it was just like, ten days. You're gonna be on peyote day and night. Really? Day and night. You day sleep in peyote. You wake up on peyote, and you go to the bathroom. You take a shower. You eat. You just get used to it. You just get used to the yes, thing. peyote for uh, breakfast, dinner, yeah, and. Yeah, and it's really funny because at the beginning it'll like hurt you. It'll clean you first. Yes. El peyote te te va a limpiar. Es, es una medicina. It's a medicine. And you use it as a medicine. Sorry for interrupting. You didn't feel like you were about to die? At a point. Ah. At the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I felt like I was just going to disappear into everything. And like, that's, I was really afraid of that. But once that's you that's another of, thing in the ceremonies I used to talk about recently. That the first thing you are afraid or you're feeling you might be dying. Yeah. So, yeah, well, it's because uh, you start feeling incorporated into everything and that's the feeling you get when you're dying. You just start disappearing into everything and, and you, yeah. you feel that. And so, I felt like everything. I forgot where I was. I, you, you, it's like an... I it's try, death, I try it's to a, get a little closer to here, okay? It's an, an ego death experience. It's an experience... That's a nice to call it. Tu ego se muere. I haven't called it like this yet, but that's more of a part of the ego dying. Yeah. It's not really, I call it not the body is dying, it's just mental experience of death. Yeah, that's really nice so to have it on the, the way. Of who you think you are, who, who you have become throughout the day, is not really who you are because you are everything and you are everyone and you are an experience. You are God experiencing itself through multiple. Um, people and, and life so I don't know it was just it was a definitely an ego death experience but anyway so I eventually woke up from that and um, the, I think the best part about that was learning to do um, um, bases bioenergeticos and that's when you learn to eat prana and that was amazing because you literally feel how you are eating the prana like you can feel it physically it's not like oh we're doing a salud al sol and i can feel the energy of the sun coming into no, yeah no, no. like on the and if you <laughs> like eat too much glasses. you will pass out if you have too much of this energy and you're not used to it you will pass out you will fall tumble over and be like whoa 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 what whoa so you have to get just enough in order to be like whoa okay okay i can do this and you just do as much of it you cannot OD on prana energy you literally can't um, it just gives you a lot of energy and you feel really really good um, and when you are going like when you have peyote it just increases that you have way more capability to eat more prana you have more um, energy with it, like physical energy you have more physical energy um, definitely more of wider view of everything um, you can see the energy around things and it's a very there are 
are people that don't want you to know these things and there are people that will hide it and do you feel like during peyote and when you get more awakened do you feel like doing the changes for the future or are you more focused in the present definitely in the present you don't feel like oh now i could change my health or my mental structure or my apagar la luz and huevo like turn on the light and other astral and, and well, mental bodies uh, and uh, Peyote does have its own language and it teaches you to be awake and if you're doing things that are not good for you, it's... Te va a regañar. Te va a regañar, you're gonna puke a lot and that's where it In comes way? into a medicine. O sea, um, if you're eating a lot of red meat and you try to do peyote, you're not gonna have a fun time. You're gonna be puking, you're gonna feel terrible because you're eating red meat, you're eating grounding foods and peyote is not a grounding thing, it's a spiritual thing. So if you were eating things that ground you and you're doing things that ground you, like you're always mad, you're always negative, you're always pointing fingers, always blaming someone, always upset of what's going wrong instead of what's going right or trying to see things as a, as a lesson instead of like, oh, why is this all happening? And you're eating super terrible, a lot of milk and and just chucherias and all these things. Chucherias, yeah. <laughs> You're just... I just later what no, it no, is. No, no, no. And el peyote, el, el, como le dicen mezcalito, es, te va a dar unas cachetadas. It's going to be like, what are you doing? just wanted to mention that the same they do before ayahuasca. They always tell people, like, don't eat this, don't eat that. They're but they never... Foods. They never, I never heard actually shaman or somebody explaining it. This is the grounding food and marijuana is a high and this plant is high and I already learned it by myself. But, but they never, why the shamans never tell at the ceremony, listen, this is the grounding food on the left. So this is alcohol and uh, maybe tobacco and uh, red meat. Well, in my case, when other people's case may be different. And when you smoke a little joint two days before, don't, don't get crazy about it because it's from getting you high, so you shouldn't do it before ceremony, like a week or so. Yeah. But, cool. it's, but it's not the end of the world, so uh, just don't go crazy. But with the other stuff, be careful. Why they, why they do not say that, you know? Well, shamans nowadays are like really strange. Like they are just mostly doing it for... There are some honest shamans, and some, and most of them believe what they're doing is is the truth. But when you're doing peyote, you can't just sit there and listen to the song. That's not right. <laughs> that's like, what they that's do in Alaska. Yes, it's yes. about like it's not about sitting and just like not moving. It's supposed to be an experience, and you're not going to. The only thing that uh, como se dice detonar, like that. Um, that actually gets the, the peyote, oh. the, the mescaline activate. moving, activate, like an activate, like, you know, like activating the, like the mescaline within the, the peyote and of uh, on other, well, I understand if it's ayahuasca, well, you're not going to be able to move very much, but um, especially with like straight up DMT, I haven't really done it, but I, from what I've seen, you can't really move, you're just passed out having an experience. But that experience yes. is just showing you from where you are to the place you want to be. From where you are to the place you want to be. Peyote shows you the way to where you want to be, slowly. So, it's, it's a teacher. And every herb and every plant and everything that our earth provides for us with a an, with an teaching, like marijuana, um, peyote, hongos, they're all teachers and they all teach something. And if you pay attention, and it's not about like smoking weed every day because I'm going to be relaxed. You smoke it, you learn what it's trying to teach you, and then you move on. But there's people that don't learn, and they just, como que no entienden y le siguen dando vueltas y vueltas y vueltas. So they just keep smoking forever sometimes. And uh, But really, it's trying to teach you something. Son plantas sagradas, con mensajes sagrados. Y los hacen como si fuera, no sé, como si estuvieran comiendo papitas. Es como, these are sacred plants. And people don't understand this. They have sacred messages for each and every one of us. And what I really like about peyote is that it's straight to the point. It tells you what it needs to tell you, what you need to hear. If you don't have like an actual purpose, it'll just slap you. And be like, you're doing this wrong, and it's very, very straightforward with me. For example, that's like what happened with me and ayahuasca. I think just it just gave me near to die experience oh and slapped me in the face. Like, what you doing here? You know, these people has problems. These people have, a, and I was just like, 
I want to experience something, I want to go forward. So I was having a purpose, but it wasn't, the intention wasn't deep enough, like from the heart, like a real, real, I was just, I want to have more experiences and I want to get more advanced. But what does it mean, you know, it was, it's empty. Now I see it's empty. People have such a problems, uh, such an intention sometimes, yeah, yeah, that yeah, it yeah. just... Yeah, it's hard to focus your mind into what you really are looking for and what you want, and that's something I couldn't do either. I just try to listen and hear for a message because there's always a lesson in every experience and I just did that and it's done but what it told me was that I need to exercise more because I don't move for shit like I I eat very clean I'm not fat I'm not obese I'm, I'm look fairly pretty healthy fit, yeah. I'm very healthy but I don't move and it gives me heart problems because if I try to run as the cat woman una cuadra I get super tired it's ridiculous so I don't know, peyote is really nice, it shows you the way, it doesn't show you where you want to be, it shows you the way with patience and dedication and exercising because it's just the way it is and it's a teacher and I really really recommend it if you want to wake up but you, it's, it's, it can, it's not scary, it's scary if you make it scary and if, and if it's scary when you know that you have problems, you're like, oh no, it's I don't want to face then. my problems, my problems are scary. But once you're like, fuck my problems, you know, I'm sorry. But you're like, to hell with my problems, I'm gonna face this, and it shows you your problems, and it's not that bad once you get over it. Like, my problem was like, I didn't wanna die. It's one of the scariest things ever, but then I realized that you never die. You're just yeah. having an experience, and you- Again. Again and again, and you choose whether you, you wanna experience it again or not, and you're just having an experience. It's like, dying is like waking up. Actually, it's more waking up than actually waking up from a dream. Like, actually, probably your dream more real than a reality but people are we're thought and that awake is awake and asleep is asleep and when you're asleep you're dreaming yeah and when you're a, awake you're it's awake it's a thought it's all it's maybe out of us i mean you know, it's opposite just, way that's how it's i been programmed into our i head. start to feel it i mean i understand it and then i start to feel it that 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 that's well opposite or it's just different but the sleep is the same reality as we thought in a just lifetime and in a dream I don't know it's a dream and here it could be a dream as well right now and there is no logic sometimes sometimes things just occur when you want it or you think about it and people don't notice it but in a dream there's a flying dragon and the people don't know it that it's not logic it's just oh I thought about flying dragon and there it is and in the real life it's the same. You want money, it comes. You want love, it comes. You want travel, you think about accident, there it is, a week later. So uh, it's just all like, in the, exactly like a dream. So there is there's a, not a hardcore difference between the dream and reality, like exactly. in an inception. So you can exactly. get lost actually. Only that in this reality, this reality, we are extremely controlled and there are people and entities or whatever you want to call them that do control us through their system and through their educational blah 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 and their media and all of that we're just totally brainwashed yeah and with the meat you eat and the cheese you eat and all of those things you're just gonna be grounded 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 and you can definitely have spiritual experiences to it but oof, if you can have experience ex spiritual experiences still eating grounding foods if you stop eating grounded foods, you're gonna fly high, like really, really high because these foods are just full of terrible things. They're full of uh, torture and fear and things that are natural like antibiotics and hormones and more antibiotics and blood of scared creatures that is all going into you and you're just not gonna help you very much but each one of us is what I'm learning that each one of us are having our own experience to whatever we're looking for so keep looking I was curious and where are you coming from originally like Defa or some other place See, okay. from Defa I didn't grow up there and your family uh, I mean your uh... mostly in Mexico yeah I mean I have family all over the world but yeah, I was just curious, like, where is your line coming from? Like, everybody has Oh, probably some. Dutch. 